Hey, what's up guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY, and we've had a lot of people ask recently how we do our benchmarking, and I'm gonna show you guys today. I'm gonna show you exactly how to benchmark like a Toasty Bar, or honestly, like many other YouTubers out there. So we're gonna start off by downloading MSI Afterburner, which is literally on MSI's website. We're gonna do the beta, which has not been updated. Actually, it's been updated really recently. I know for a while there, it hadn't been updated in a long time, but it's always gonna download as a zip file. We got a sale. So it's always gonna download as a zip file. So what I normally do is just open up the zip file and then drag and drop onto the desktop. Now Windows typically has built-in software to be able to do um, zip files, but if you need to, you can download something like WinRAR for free or 7-Zip, but I just drag it on the desktop, double click it. It's gonna go through an in install prompt. I hate that they do this. Do not install Norton 360 for gamer, for gamer, not for gamers. I'm just gonna go next, continue. And you wanna make sure that you do get Reva Statistics Tuner, your server. I know that it may look like it's something separate. It's, it is separate, but it's something that you need to actually do the benchmarking with, which you'll see here in a minute. And once we're done with this, we can get rid of that zip file download. And we're gonna do English. This is to actually install Reva Statistic Tuner now because we already have Afterburner. So you just go through the same things, install, install, install. And here we go. So now all you have to do is just press finish. It's now going to open up MSI Afterburner. So this is pretty interesting. You guys are probably used to seeing a much different looking um, menu than this. Like I'm, I'm much more used to seeing the this style here, which uh, I'll just, you know what? We'll keep running with the, the beta here, but normally you're gonna get a menu that looks more like this, unless of course this video goes into 2025, 2026, um, and it looks like this version here, which I just downloaded. Um, but hey, they all do the same thing. This one just has a less fancier skin to it, but basically you can, um, check your actual frequencies that your GPU is running at. You can check your VRAM um, frequencies, your voltages, and your GPU temp, which by the way, you can also do in Windows as well. If you ever are curious, you can check GPU temp, but not CPU for whatever reason by going to here and check it out. My 9070 is running at 55C. Just a little trick and tip for you. But now let's go ahead and go back to, where did it go? I don't know where it went, so we'll open it back up. So basically, if you wanna do any overclocking, it gives you a lot of really good tips here. Now we'll say MSI on their website now, they have a really good tutorial on how to do overclocking, how to do underclocking or undervolting, how all of it works. Um, they tell you things that you should and shouldn't do. And we're not really talking a whole lot about overclocking today because I have a 9079 to 100X3D. I have no interest in it, but for some people with older hardware or the people who just really like to tweak their hardware, you may be interested in doing this. You can even change things like fan speeds in here, which I will say, I've had mixed luck with a lot of times it will not actually change the fan speeds um, and some of these things in general because graphics cards do have some um, strictness to them where they just won't listen to any of the changes that are done in Windows. You have to use much more advanced softwares and programs to actually do that, which MSI Afterburner does not always do. So normally if you're using the old version of the program, you're going to click this little settings icon there. And once you do that, which I'm going to show you in the new version, so we press settings, you're going to go over to monitor. Now monitoring, I've already enabled one of these. So let's say GPU one temperature. You see it, it says here in on-screen display. So what you have to do is check mark this box. Once you do that, it's gonna take a second and you're gonna notice when you go over here, we now have Reva Statistic Tuner actually open. Now it's really interesting how it works because at least to my knowledge, you don't really change any settings here besides something I'll show you guys in a minute. And that's this, we're gonna show you guys how to make uh, you know, a little bigger, We Matt and I usually add on-screen fill, which gives like a nice black border. And then we make it a little bit larger, especially on like 1440 and 4K. And that's all you do inside of there. But now going back to our main area here under monitoring. So Matt and I normally like to have things, a few things on. And I will say, depending on your CPU and GPU, they don't always work. So starting from the top here, I normally like to do my GPU temperature, which you have to watch out because you'll notice there's a GPU one, GPU two, depending on how many graphics cards you have or if you have integrated graphics, which I do. I have a 9800X 3D, so I have basic integrated graphics. You sometimes need to figure out which one's which. So anyways, GPU temperature. We're gonna be overriding the name. So we're gonna call this is, we'll call it RX 9070. Now, the reason you do this is so that it doesn't just say GPU temperature, it actually say 97, or, or, RX 9070. Um, so GPU one temperature two, let's see, let's do usage. So we'll do on-screen display. This is where you can actually add it if you wanted to make a graph or a text with graph, but for most of them, I just do text. So once again, RX 9070. Um, let's see, we'll do, we'll do VRAM usage as well. 
Now, sometimes you have to play around with these because sometimes it's not super obvious what each one is. Like I said, sometimes you may be doing the wrong GPU. You may be doing the wrong core. Um, let's see what else we got. Let's do, let's do power. That'd be another cool one for the GPU. And that's probably one of the last ones we'll do for the GPU if I had to guess. All right, let's do CPU one temperature or sometimes you scroll down. Actually, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna be doing CPU temperature because if you do CPU one temperature, that's only going to show you one of the cores. So we're gonna disable that. Let's go to CPU temperature override name. So it's gonna be the um, Ryzen 9800X 3D. And then we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna do CPU usage. So let's go ahead and check that. Ryzen 9800X 3D. We'll also do the clock speed. So as you can see, since this is an eight core 16 thread, if you're wondering, that's why there's, you know, uh, GPU one through 16 clock. You can literally have it do each core and thread if you want to, which is pretty crazy. Probably leave power off. We'll turn RAM on. Every RAM you don't need to change the name of, unless you want to put like 32 gigs DDR5, which is what I have in here. And then we're going to do frame rate. And this is the one we're going to do combo. So it's going to be text and graph. We don't need to change the name. And then we're going to be doing, let's see, let's do frame time. That'll show us our millisecond. And we'll keep that on text. All right, and there we go. So this is my usual setup. So then the last thing we're going to do, as I showed you guys a minute ago, is we're going to right click that, show, make sure that you have on-screen display fill, and then a little bit of zoom so you can actually see. And now we're going to launch a game and see what it looks like. All right, so uh, just make sure that you leave Afterburner and Reva Statistics Tuner open. And then once your game launches and you click into it, it might take a second to what they call hook, which is basically where it, the application is looking for a game to actually hook onto. We're gonna do some Black Myth Wukong, just press continue. And as you can see, we've got a nice graph that's showing our dips, our ups and lows, highs and all that in terms of FPS, our average. So let's go ahead and get into the game here. We're using a ton of RAM. I did not realize this game uses this much RAM. We are also recording as well, but that is pretty crazy. I'm literally using all 32 gigs. It's time for 64. All right, so we're in Black Myth Wukong. And as you can see, while recording in OBS, not getting the greatest FPS, but it's good enough. So we're using 30, almost 31 gigs of RAM. We're very close to maxing out. I can see my 9800X 3D is running at a crisp 55 degrees, which is very impressive. Uh, but of course, this game is not using a ton of our CPU, only at 50%, because it's a very GPU bound game. It's a AAA title. So because of that, you can see our 9070 is being utilized really well. We're at 90. 4%. We're using almost all of the VRAM the card has to offer. We're pushing 218 watts at times, uh, 61C, so the temp is very respectful. Um, so temps are great, but usages, they're pretty good. I mean, this is exactly what I expect to see across the board um, in a AAA title. Now, if we go to like an eSports title, you're going to notice that, that that CPU usage should go pretty high up while the GPU comes a little bit down, depending on what settings. But yeah, 1440p, it's uh, pretty cool um, to be able to record an OBS, uh, play this game and on top of that have discord open that's running a live stream right now you guys can't see that but i'm um, getting you know 70 fps like with wukong at some higher settings here but you know this this is the tutorial i've shown you guys how to do this yourself so if you want to test out all your games make some youtube videos on it this is exactly how we at the toasty bros do our benchmark so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you check out toasty bros toasty clips and pc rest to buy a gaming pc see you guys later peace out